I'm Bill Gale. I'm a senior fellow in economic studies at the Brookings Institution, and I do tax policy. The Kansas governor's goal in 2012 was to boost the economy, and his way of doing that was to cut income taxes uh, across the board and to cut business taxes to zero. So the state income tax rate on business income went from about seven to about zero. The idea was this was going to boost investment, boost, boost employment, uh, get the economy going again. Uh, it's kind of a classic supply side trickle down type of theory that has been proposed by Ronald Reagan, George Bush, uh, and, and uh, many others. The Kansas tax cuts were uh, a good lab test, if you will, of how supply-side tax cuts work. Uh, the evidence is in, and they didn't work very well. Kansas did not grow faster than neighboring states. Uh, it didn't even grow faster than it had in previous years. Uh, it did not grow faster than the country as a whole. The experiment with tax policy was such a failure that a Republican-controlled legislature not only voted to raise taxes and undo most of the effects of the tax cuts, but they did so over the veto uh, of the governor. This is not a case of liberals coming to power and uh, undoing what the conservative governor uh, imposed. This is a case of the Republicans in power uh, looking at the effects of the tax cut on the economy and making the decision that the tax cut was a bad idea. Kansas is only a small part of the country, obviously, but I think the experiment there has important implications for uh, federal or national tax re reform. The first one is not to expect tax cuts to boost the economy much, if at all. The second implication that I think is important from Kansas uh, has to do with the treatment of business income. Kansas cut the business income tax rate to zero. Uh, they did that hoping to uh, promote a lot of act economic activity. It simply didn't happen. What did happen was people recharacterized income from labor uh, into business forms so that they could take advantage of the non-tax rate on business income. Uh, at the federal level, you see the Republicans wanting to reduce the corporate or business tax rate to the range of uh, 20 or 15 percent. Uh, and the lesson from Kansas is this, this might induce some increase in economic activity. It certainly will induce a massive increase in tax sheltering as people move income from labor to, to some form of capital, some form of business income. I think there's another implication from Kansas too, which is more general than just taxes. Uh, Kansas, when it cut taxes, uh, its bond rating went down in, in capital markets, and it had to cut essential services in education, infrastructure, Medicaid, and so on. And when people saw that lower taxes meant lower services, and they saw what those services were that were being taken away, uh, a majority of Kansans then decided they would not prefer to keep the tax cuts. The implications for tax reform include the idea that tax reform is not just about taxes. It's about what taxes pay for. And uh, uh, we tend to stovepipe policy discussions, talk about taxes at one point and then talk about spending at another point. And that, that misses an important point, which is that those two items are linked and how much we want the government to spend uh, needs to be linked to how much we're willing to pay in, in taxes. So I would like the tax reform discussion to include uh, a discussion of what it is we're getting uh, from the taxes that we actually pay.